Hello folks, my name is Robert Pound and I'm a product technologist from Quest. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about the database diagrammer in Toad DataPoint. Understanding and combining data are two of the major endeavors at the front end of any data analysis task. Toad DataPoint addresses these issues in a number of ways. However, the focus of this video will be on how the database diagrammer assists in understanding of your data and your database. Highlights of the database diagrammer include the ability to interact with your objects through a visual interface, which allows you to understand your relationships in the database easily, and the power to analyze and visualize the joins in that database. Now let's walk through a more detailed example. So first off, to open a database diagrammer, you have several options. From the start page, uh, from the right click menu on an object or from the ribbon bar. I'm going to go ahead and open from the ribbon bar. And when a new diagram or tab is opened, uh, the instructions on how to interact with it are actually on the page itself. So as you can see, uh, you can drag and drop objects onto the pane. Uh, you can create relationships if they are not already there. And you can add notes as you see fit. So the first thing I'm going to do is just drag and drop an item to the canvas. And as you can see, it has already drawn out the primary foreign key relationship. So uh, here the referenced objects point to primary keys in both, in this case, the inventory table and the staff table. You can also, uh, as I mentioned, create references. So for instance, if we wanted to go from uh, last update on this table uh, to last update on this table. If we wanted to create that reference, we could simply click and hold on last update and drag it over to last update on this table, and it will create a reference in the diagrammer itself. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. And it will ask me whether I want to uh, remove it from the cache as well, and I do. So from here we can also analyze the the current joins as we talked about in the highlights. So if I want to see uh, this join, I can simply click when the eyeglass appears, and it will give me a Venn diagram of the join itself, letting me know in this case there are no values that are only in staff or only in rental. Uh, but this gives you, just gives you a breakdown of uh, the join itself. So looking at the toolbars on top, so you have tools to organize uh, your diagram. So if you had an, a large number of tables, you could come up here and click this icon and it will auto arrange. Let me go ahead and move this out of the way. And you can also resize your tables, uh, so that way you don't have to scroll through the tables if that's desirable. Um, and you also have the ability to change the zoom, so you can zoom in and out. Um, if you have Toad Intelligence Central Server, you can publish this file up to Toad Intelligence Central Server. Uh, and then the depth. So currently at a depth of 1, it's showing everything that's connected to the rental table at one level of depth meaning if there was a, another table reference to this staff table, it will not show up here now. But if I change the depth level to two and then click on the canvas, it's going to update the diagrammer. And it will show, uh, in this case, one more table. <laughs> and if you only want to see the table that you brought into the diagrammer originally, you can bring the depth level down to zero. and you will only see the rental table at this point. Let me move it back up to one. So other things uh, on the toolbar. So if you wanted to look at the details of a specific table, you could highlight it and then click this icon and it'll bring up the details view uh, to, to get a better look at uh, the table itself. And then you can bring in all views and tables from this connection or the current database uh, with this icon. 
the bottom toolbar uh, has the same publish file to Toad Intelligence Central Server. It also allows you to look at tutorials, uh, open previously saved diagrams, uh, add this diagram to the project manager for those familiar with the project manager. And you also have the ability to send this to the query builder. So uh, the advantage of that is you can uh, pull in a single table and see what it is all related to and then send this directly to the query builder and you can start creating your query with a few simple clicks and the relationships have already been established. But moving back to the diagrammer, um, in the right click menu you can also send it to the query builder uh, if you right click on the tables, uh, you have many of the same uh, abilities as you would right clicking in the object explorer um, for a given table. But you can also add details to uh, the tables themselves. So you can show things like data types, uh, nullable and comments, and show all. And you also have the ability to uh, hide columns. So I can show all or I can hide certain columns uh, in this table. So if there was a, a, a large number of columns for a given table, you could hide a few of them just so you could uh, better visualize uh, the relationships. And that pretty much wraps up the database diagrammer. Hopefully this helped you understand a little bit more about how you can use database diagrammer to understand your data in Toad Data Point. To get more information on this or other topics, you can go to the Toad help file, which has a wide range of information about the product, as well as some tutorials to help you better understand uh, the features. You can also check out the community-driven innovation going on at www.toadworld.com. I encourage you to log in so that you can get specific content for Toad Data Point. For more information on this product, visit www.quest.com forward slash products forward slash Toad Data Point. Thank you and good luck in all future endeavors.